Hey, hey, y'all. So, um, I, I really feel I'm called to do this message. I've been wanting to do this message for a while, okay? So, let's just go ahead and dive into the deep, okay? Thank you all for those of you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. Thank you for all your support. Um, thank you for believing in me, okay? Like, I believe in you, okay? Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the deep. Today's conversation is about rejection is protection, honey. Rejection is protection. Let me say it again. Rejection is protection. We have been programmed to believe if somebody rejects you, that means the worst, right? That means you, you're not worthy of this or you're not happy, you're not beautiful, you're not full of love, you're not able to give them whatever. Don't, don't believe that. That's not what it is. Rejection is protection. Rejection is protection because believe it or not, you are being protected from something that you do not see, okay? Because guess what? The Most High God, whoever it is that you believe in, okay, they see something that you cannot see and they are literally like, stop, hold up, nope, 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 let's switch some stuff up because that's not for her, that's not for him. He wants that girl. He wants that guy. She wants that girl. She wants that guy. But they don't see what's really going on. They don't see that this person is behind the scenes crying. They don't see that this person really doesn't love themselves. So how are they going to be able to love them? They do not see what I can see. And when I say I, I'm referring to the Most High, okay? We can't see some things that go on behind the scenes, okay, that the Most High is doing. We can't see it. And that's for a reason. That's for a reason. We're not meant to know every little single detail and every little thing. So again, I'm going to say to you, rejection is protection. Trust and believe that rejection is protection. If you being rejected by something, oh, you can say, baby, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, universe. Thank you, most high. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Because y'all are, are protecting me from something I didn't see. You were expecting a call from somebody, some type of opportunity, and it didn't come through, baby. That, that was protection for you. Because something much greater and better is in store for you. Believe that, trust that, know that. Know that, okay? Know that. Rejection is protection. Sometimes you want something so bad, like I just want it, want it, want it, but you don't even see what all it come with. You don't see all what, it, what all it come with. That's literally like signing up for a program, not realizing that this program means that you have to get up every day at 7 a.m. You have to make sure that you send in your notes. You got to do reports. You got to do this. You didn't know that, though. You didn't know that, though. You just thought it was going to be easy peasy lemon squeeze and you was going to be sitting there making $30 an hour and it was going to be great and everything. Oh, my gosh, I'm not going to be able to live the life I want. But you not realizing the work that had to go into that. So rejection is protection, I must say again. Because God knows our true heart and goals. God knows, excuse me, our true intentions, okay? God knows what it is that we really need. Not you want, but you really need. And what is destined for you. Rejection is protection. Rejection is protection. Think about it. Think about it. Think about something that you really, really wanted, right? Or you feel like you really, really want it. And then look at where you are today now. Can you honestly say that you wish you would have still had that? Or isn't there a part of you that's like, you know what? I'm glad I didn't get that. I'm glad I didn't get it. Especially if the universe, if God shows you why you did not get it. Because it'll do that for you as well. It'll show you why. Usually because it's not time trust and know and believe in divine timing i promise you divine timing is real everything happens on divine timing everything 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 and everything happens for a reason it all does and it's all connected it's all intertwined it's all interlaced all of it it's it's, it's all together it is so with that being said the next time you feel like a job has rejected you. You put in all these applications, ain't these jobs you didn't hear back from. Baby, that is protection. That is protection. Because God is like, you don't even see that they got bosses over there that really just want to work you like a slave and don't want to do no work for themselves. Baby, rejection is protection. Not the, what, baby, you should be happy about it. Oh, you know what? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank 
you, God. Thank you for not putting me in that. Thank you for not putting me with them people. Ooh, that car I thought I wanted. Ooh, now you see that it's a recall for it two months later. Ooh, I thought I wanted. Thank you, God. Thank you for rejecting me from that car. Thank you. Because I could have been driving and had problems while I was driving. The brakes could have went out. The, the, the horn didn't work. It could have been anything, right? So trust that rejection is protection. That person that don't want you to say, they they just all of a sudden, they don't really, baby, that's protection from God, your ancestors, your spirit guides, you, your higher self. That is protection. So we're going to release that mental and that mindset, okay, of, oh, my God, what was, you know, I've been rejected. Oh, me, something's wrong with me, something's wrong with me, baby. That's just nothing wrong with you. Let me tell you that. There is nothing wrong with you. You are being protected because you are divinely guided and you are divinely protected, baby. And that's just what it is. So, again, I say to you all, rejection is protection. Sending love and light to you all. Love and light. Love y'all.